a dance of desire and virtue, unraveling Beitwecker's elegant couples courting. Willem Pieter's Beitwecker's masterpiece, Elegant Couples Courting, painted circa 1616 to 1620, is a vivid portrayal of the contrasting paths of love. The artwork is a rich tapestry woven with intricate details, symbolisms, and historical contexts that continue to captivate art enthusiasts and historians alike. The painting captures two couples beside a fountain, one embodying virtue and restraint, the other depicting wanton love. The use of color is striking, deep purples signify the femme fatale while the bright attire of the virtuous couple illuminates their purity. The painting is also remarkable for its composition and execution. The scene is set outdoors, like most early Harlem paintings of merry companies, but with a simplicity that contrasts with Beitwecker's later interior scenes. The couples are dressed in the fashions of the 1610s, showcasing Beitwecker's attention to detail and realism. The brushwork is lively and expressive, especially in the rendering of the fabrics and the foliage. The painting draws inspiration from various sources, both biblical and emblematic. The barred window serves as a silent observer to the unfolding events, echoing chapter 7 of Proverbs, where wisdom warns against the seduction of an adulterous woman. The spider's web beneath the coat of arms on the window refers to emblem 39 from Jacob Katz's Sinner Ian Minabilden, which cautions against Venus entangling net and advises prudence and success. The painting also reflects the social and cultural milieu of the early 17th century Netherlands. The couples represent the fashionable and affluent class of the time, who enjoyed leisure and entertainment. The painting was created during the Twelve Years' Truce, a period of relative peace and prosperity, but also of political and religious tensions. The ruined state of the farmhouse in the background may hint at the past conflicts with Spain, which had ravaged the country for decades. The painting conveys a moral message through the contrast between the two couples. The seated woman clad in deep purple embodies temptation as she offers rosebuds to a young man who turns away under his dog's watchful eye, an emblematic representation of wisdom guiding youth away from perilous allure. Contrastingly, another couple indulges in unrestrained affection, they ignore marital symbols lying at their feet, gloves that signify commitment are discarded for transient pleasures. They also disregard the presence of the fountain, which symbolizes purity and fertility which symbolizes pride and vanity. Beitwecker's artistry lies not only in his ability to depict scenes with aesthetic brilliance but also to infuse them with moral lessons drawn from biblical texts and emblematic traditions. He invites the viewer to ponder on the choices and consequences of love, and to appreciate the beauty and harmony of virtue. Elegant couples courting is not merely an artistic expression but also serves as an ethical compass guiding viewers through paths paved with desire or virtue. It stands testament to Beitwecker's genius, his ability to intertwine aesthetics with profound moral narratives that transcend time.